What's up, Chimmy Squad? Welcome back to our channel. Ooh. If you guys are new here, welcome together. <laughs> if you guys are new here, I'm Shay. I'm Eunice. And this is Mila, Eunice's daughter. Say hi. <laughs> Okay, okay sorry. sorry. So for today's menu, we have some spicy chicken. Nashville chicken inspired. Look at this delicious spread, you guys. We have one for Mila too, with non-spicy. Yeah. So she's gonna join us and eat with us today. Before we get started, you already know what time it is. Time to give a shout out to the first five commenters that commented hashtag Chimmy Squad on the last mukbang. So big, big shout out to Farha Sneha2760, Ronni9526, Ariba298, Nadia Malik 3691 and Main Samvola 3860. Yay! Thank you so much. Yay. Thank you so much. Make sure to comment now for a shout out on our next video. Comment right now. We have a side of mac and cheese with a no spice chicken tender for Mila, some crisp cut fries, medium spicy chicken tenders here. We also have a thigh to share with some coleslaw and the chicken sandwiches. Ow. Okay. Oh, it's huh? the donuts. Oh, donuts. She put me on these donuts and I've been obsessed. And so yeah, we ordered it. I ate some last night. Yay! <laughs> Before we get started, we're gonna say grace. Amen. Amen. No. Amen. <laughs> She's like, I want food now. <laughs> okay. Usually she goes, Amen. Choice of drink. I have Coke Zero today. I have just Coke here. Coke Zero tastes bad. It's good. It's like a better version of Diet Coke. I don't like Diet Coke, so... You can try it. You wanna try it? No, I know what it tastes like. I don't like it. Cheers. <sighs> so this place, I've been addicted to this place. I think I ordered from here... Maybe this is my fifth time this month. Really? Yeah. I only ate Fire Chicken Dave's Hot Chicken. I never tried this one, I think. Okay, so this, I don't know if they have more locations, but they're in LA. They're so good. Like the flavor and stuff is a little similar, but I don't know why. This place just, I just like it way more. So yeah. let me know how you like it. She's been raving about it like crazy, so we got it today. We got it. Let's try it. What is okay. it? How did this quickly do it? We got it. We taste it. I'll try it. Get it. <laughs> we also have a bunch of like sauces here. And then Zab's hot honey, because I like it with hot honey. It's so good. Where'd you get this? I've been I trying to try it. it. So it's like all over TikTok right now. Yeah, it's really good. Okay. Alright. Let me open the sauce, open the sauce. Mama! Mama. I'm gonna hear Mama and Amila. I got a ranch for us each, but personally I like this MC sauce that they have. What do you want to try first? I wanna try this. Chicken sandwich? Okay. Yes. I'm gonna give Mila the tender right now so she doesn't feel left out. Let me cut it a little bit. Mila, mira. Mama. Wow. 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 I like to put some of the MC sauce. I just like drizzle that on there. Okay. Or pour, I, su I should say. Okay. And then the Zab's hot honey. It's just like so good. Here, okay. Oh my god. First bite. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's good, right? Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like hot honey. Mm -hmm. They actually offer hot honey, but I don't want to buy it because I already have my own jar. A bottle. Mmm. Mm. <clears throat> These are like a different type of pasta. They're like twirly twisties. You see it? Twirly twisties. <laughs> yeah, you see that? Oh, 
I think these are really good for mac and cheese because it's gonna really get the cheese in between all those little like curls. Agree. Mm. That is good. That's good. <clears throat> Today though, it's not as cheesy as I remember mm. it, but it's still good. Mm. Does Mila like mac and cheese? Not really. Oh, that's wow. surprising, right? Oh. These chicken sandwiches are so good. So we got medium spicy, which is not that spicy, right? It's not spicy. Yeah, not spicy at all for us, actually. Oh, look at the sauces there too. Some ranch. Kind of tastes like Cajun seasoning, is it? I don't know, is it like Nashville hot seasoning maybe? Mm. It's good though. The ranch is good. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Costa too. Mm. Costa I'm very picky with, we'll see. It's actually pretty good. The coleslaw? Yeah, it's refreshing. It doesn't have like a hint of sweetness that I taste in some that I don't like. Pretty good, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. That's pretty good. It can be kind of comparable to KFC, but not kinda, really. Kind of. So it's like lighter. Mm -hmm, lighter. That's good. Two kinds of people. Dipper. I was just thinking of <laughs> the zipper and the pourer. Oh. You want hot honey on yours again? Mm-hmm. So good. For now, I do this. I was worried if you would like it or not because you don't like sweet and savory. But, but it's not really like a sweet honey. It's oh. spicy. It has a kick to it. It kind of reminds me of like you know, Korean honey chicken, honey spicy chicken mm. or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I actually like the sandwich with extra coleslaw. I'm gonna put some mac and cheese on here. And coleslaw. I really like yes. this pasta for this mac and cheese. Right? It's good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's too big. Mm. This sauce is really good. Mm -hmm. How do you like it? It's bomb. It is good. Like, I'm the type of person, if I like somewhere, like a restaurant, I'll order there many, many times, like in a row, until I get sick of it. Ooh. I've never tried the chicken thigh. I'm kinda excited to try that one today. Let's try that. Mm. The mac and cheese is everything right now. So good. It's not too heavy, which I like. It's super creamy. Like, this is kind of becoming the highlight for me. <laughs> Bomb. Mm. Yeah, I had a feeling you'd like it. That's why I ordered it. Mm. I love mac and cheese so much. I'm going to get into this chicken thigh because it's staring at me. Ooh. Wow. I wish I could see this side. Oh. It looks so juicy. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, you good? Okay. Yeah. Did you leave this for me? No. Oh. Maybe I can break apart so that we can have like... Okay, fine. You could eat the drumstick. I'll eat this part. Really? Yeah. It's so nice. 
sauce. You give us a lot of the sauce. Nice. Mm. You want some mahania? Oh, my hands are too messy. Can you hold down the bottle? Please? Yeah. Right here? Yeah, that's good. Mine too. Okay. Mm. Ooh, which side should I get at first? This side. Mm. Mm. Wait, that's so good. That's so good. Mm. Mm. It's more spicier mm -hmm. than the chicken in this one. It's so juicy, very tender. Oh shoot. <laughs> wow, that's really good. So good. I'm telling you guys, this piece is so good. It's like falling off the bone. Mm, the spices like really seeped in. This one's spicier, for mm. sure. Mm. It's so tender, not dry at all. Mm. Was spicy. Mm-hmm. My bomb. Yeah, I think my mistake was feeding Mila before leaving. Oh, uh, she doesn't want to eat. Yeah, she's not that into it. It's okay. Here I am. How do you do? Oh, yeah, like chicken all over her face. What about wow. me? Yeah, a little Zoom. bit. We're really getting into this. Okay, let me <sighs> clean up a little bit. My fingers just a little bit. Let me refresh my palette. Mm. Wait, what is this noodle called? You mean the pasta? Corkscrew? What? <laughs> okay, I don't know. It kind of does. I know. I see what you mean. No. The curly noodles? The curly pasta? I just said noodles with you. Mmm. That's good. It's so good. Dude, can you believe it's already March? That is crazy. Well, actually, now it's April. Technically, tomorrow's April. Time flies so fast. Oh. Any major events in March? <clears throat> the day that I was born. The day you turned 30? I don't want to hear that. I'm just kidding. Well, I appreciate and I'm thankful to live another day to see 30. However, the number is a little traumatizing because it's a whole new number. <laughs> but I'm excited because they say 30s is like the prime. Like life is more fun. You know, you're more smarter, wiser. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of sad because when you look back, you won't get your 20s back. Mm -hmm. I think so. You kind of grieve. You're kind of grieving your 20s, but also looking forward to the 30s. Dang. I mean, I don't want to go back to my 20s, but I feel like you've grown a lot. I have. Yeah, when you look back, do you feel like you were still immature even when you were like maybe 27? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think at 27, I was starting to <clears throat> understand life more and understand perspective of people more. I feel like, what, like before, you don't really see anything outside of your own perspective but then as you get older you have an understanding of that so you realize a lot of people like just project their own inner world to you and then once you understand that life gets a little bit more freeing like you don't care so much what people say about you and then you mm. also kind of check yourself when you automatically think about someone else like why did i think like that obviously there's something in me that's causing me to think like that mm. so you begin to analyze like your your own inner world and other people's inner world and then navigating life becomes a lot more easier. 
And you feel more at peace that way, right? Mm hmm. Interesting. Yeah. I'm turning 27 this year. Mm, you're so. getting there. Because <laughs> you know, when you get it to a certain age, you think you know it all. And like, you feel like, oh, wow, I was so dumb back then. That was but me at like 17, honestly. Fast forward five more years, and you look back and you're like, wow, actually, actually I was immature then too. Yeah. That's true. You make better choices. Yeah. I wonder if this is going to be any different from the chicken tender in our sandwich. It's probably, probably the same, no? It's the same, but um, it's not in the sandwich, you know, so you get more of the tender taste. Mmm. Wow. It's crispy, but at the same time, it's very like powdery because I feel all the seasoning that coats around. It's all on the batter of the outside. I feel like if you accidentally breathe while taking that bite, you can like cough and choke. I know what you mean. Right? It's a powder. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a dark spice. Like, mm -hmm. like a smokier spice. Mm -hmm. mm. But it's really tender. It's bomb. I don't know if I like this better or the thigh. They're different. Yeah. <clears throat> it's bomb though. Oh, it's spicier. But you're directly getting all that seasoning. Bless you. Yum. Yeah. <sighs> I'm <mean, well. laughs> Really? <coughs> I think Bless she's you. getting the seasoning in her nose though. I mean, you're spilling all over her iPad. <laughs> There's some in her hair. I'm dead. It's okay, she's... It's okay, we shower again. Yeah. Oh. Spicy? Yeah, uh, spicy. Oh, maybe I should go mild for her. I think that's spicier than the other chickens. Mm-hmm. I think it's so too. I think it's because of the batter. It's thicker. <sighs> Hmm. But 30s <clears throat> is interesting. I think if I like think about all the adults I've speaking, spoken to, <clears throat> a lot of them feel like they're still young. It's just their outer, outer appearance that ages, but inside they still feel young. I think that's everyone. Yeah. You, no one really grows up. No. But I'm excited. 30s. When I realized you were turning 30, I was like, oh, that means it's getting real for me too. It's very real. Like, it's almost 10 years since I graduated high school. That's insane. So it's been like 13 years for me? Oh my god. Yeah. When I look at high schoolers, I'm like, oh my god, did I look that young too? Like, they look like babies. Not some of them. Yeah, not some of them. The ones that know how to apply makeup, like Dude. millennials and older. The younger generation is so lucky because in our generation, I think YouTube started like probably end of high school, right? Or mid to end. Uh, high school, middle school. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she spilled the mac and cheese on her iPad. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Wait, really? You two started in middle school? Yeah. What? Not high school. In middle school, I remember I was trying to do, like, dial-up. I was on AOL, AIM, and MSN, and stuff like that. Well, we are, like, four years apart in school terms. Three, okay? Three. <laughs> okay, three. <laughs> Why are you so yummy now? Get your numbers straight, okay? It's just, just a number. Yeah. <clears throat> but in middle school, my makeup was so bad. So bad. I think my go-to makeup was eyeliner pencil that you get at 99 cent stores. Yeah, yeah, Those yeah. really cheap ones that have like the tips sharpener. I'd be like... <laughs> me too, i put it all around. Just all around my eye. That was my go-to. Yeah, me too. 
No, I looked at the mirror. I was like, slay. I was like, I look good. <laughs> I was like, I'm so good at makeup. <laughs> Did you see the video that Sweetie was saying that she had paranormal activity in her house or something? Really? Yeah. It's interesting. I should watch more. She said like she gets scissor lock every time she sleeps. Unless she turns on Christian music. So she has to turn Christian music on when she sleeps. Oh, really, Sweetie? Yeah. But it reminds me of a time when I had like an out of body, out of body experience. Have you ever had that? Dude. But I stopped myself because I was so scared. What does it feel like? So I was like in deep, almost hitting deep sleep. And then I could feel my body like vibrating. And then I can start seeing myself like lift off of my body. But I see my body like laying on the bed. So I got really scared. Like just a little bit. I just went up a little bit and I realized I you could saw see yourself? myself. Yeah. <gasps> Did you feel like I'm dying? No, I just felt like this is like spiritual. Like I know that I'm not 100% awake, but my mind is awake. My body's not awake. That's so insane that you could see yourself though. Yeah, I saw myself and I could see my school. I was like, oh my God, no, no, no. I was like, I, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. And I was like, I think I was like screaming Jesus or something. I was like, oh my God, help me, help me, help me. And then I just went back and I woke up. Oh my gosh, how come nothing cool like that happens to me? It's not cool, dude. It's really scary. It's really scary. I never get scissor locked. I never have an out-of-body experience. It's like, so scary. I didn't want to experience it because I was scared what I would see. And I don't like not being in control. So I just forced myself to go back. Yeah. So scary. I have dreams and dreams and dreams. But not out-of-body. Like That's Inception? Yeah, like I That's swear so I went to go get some water in my <laughs> sleep. And then I wake, I wake up again. I'm like, oh, I'm still in bed. And then I go to get water. And then I wake up again. I'm like, oh, I'm still in bed. Damn. <laughs> Were you thirsty? Yeah, I was sick and I was thirsty. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't get out of bed. Sometimes I have a dream that I peed on my bed. And I'm like, oh my god, I have to wake up. Like just a little bit. Like so recently? I wake up. I had this like a couple times before. And then so I wake up and I use the bathroom. And then I realize I'm sleeping. So I wake up again. I'm like, wait, I didn't use the bathroom. Oh, actually, yeah. yeah. It's because you're so tired. Yeah. That's crazy. That's kind of interesting. Because that's what your mind wants. So that's what your mind sees. But then your body's not there. That's why your mind is so important. Yeah. It's, it's like your body just needs to catch up to your mind in order for things to happen. That was kind of deep. That was kind of deep. That was kinda it deep. was relatable in a lot of ways. Yeah. Like, you have an idea for a business, yeah. your body needs to follow up with it. Yeah. Or else it just stays nice as an idea. Yeah. <laughs> because... <laughs> Do we sound like we're getting deep or does this sound like nonsense? Let us know. I don't... No, it's... I think yeah, it's deep though, right? Yeah, it's deep because think about it. You cannot think of anything that does not exist to you. So like, I could never think about becoming a ER doctor because it could never cross my mind. Like, that's just not something I feel like I should do. So because I don't think of it, I'm never going to do it. So whatever you can think of is something that you can reach for. But if you switched out of nowhere and you were like, I want to do that. Yeah. Then you would start making actions towards that idea. Yeah. So it all just starts within your thoughts. Everything starts with an idea. Yeah. Yeah. And the only, I, I think I read this quote somewhere. It was like, it was like failure to plan is planning to fail. Like even God That's has true. a plan for you. Like why don't you have a plan for yourself? That's yeah. true, that's true. Even God himself makes plans for you. Well, that got really deep out of nowhere, eating chicken. I know, we're just eating <laughs> some main chicken and my hands were like covered all in red powder. No, but in those kind of like out of body experiences or like spiritual activity makes you realize how strong your mind is and like how much your mind has power. Like sometimes I can go back into my dream and change the trajectory of my dream. Oh yeah, If that's I just true. like think about it in my head. Yeah, it's interesting. It is crazy. But actually, um, Papa, our pastor, he did say that everything in the physical is a delayed reaction of the spiritual. Mm. So that's why everything happens in the spiritual first. Mm. Yeah, we got really deep right Yeah, now. we got really deep. I'm really full. I don't know how you're still eating, on you? That's my last bite. There's a lot of food. I can always eat this later though because I'm so hooked on this place. One time I ate it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Actually, we just left tender and some fries. Yeah, tender this and fries. Mila's. I'll yeah. take that for Mila. Okay. Alrighties. Some so fries fun. for her. Can she eat that? No, it's too spicy. Oh. 
I think you're gonna get fries that weren't spicy. <clears throat> I I'm gonna choose the fry flavor. Like, oh, it just didn't? comes like that. Oh. Um, it is really good though. If you guys are interested and in the LA area, is this an LA only? It's an. I don't know. But the closest one to us is in LA. Yeah, we'll link them down below if you're interested. Okay, guys, so we are super full. I'm gonna save these for later. That's for Mila. But actually, we ate a lot. That was really good. I, rec I highly recommend the mac and cheese if you go to this place. Coleslaw was pretty good too. Yeah, actually, everything was everything really good. Everything was good. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining today's episode, you guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. Hit that like button, subscribe, post notification bell. Ding. Ding. If you haven't already, make sure to go ahead and follow our TikTok account, join Instagram account, and we'll see you guys next episode. We'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.